हेलो गुड इवनिंग एंड ए वॉम वेलकम टू स्मेल बेल वर्बल सेफलो सर्वेकल सर्जिकल एनाटमी सीरीज ऑफ हेड एंड नेक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट टू ऑफ द पेरोटिड ग्लैंड पी जी द पेरोटिड ग्लैंड इट सरफेस एंड इट्स बॉर्डर्स मेकिंग इट इन टू एनीज वी कैन जस्ट सिमुलेट द पेरोटिड ग्लैंड एज एन ओपन बुक इफ यू टेक इट लाइक दिस दिस इज माई राइट पेरोटिड ग्लैंड so this particular part will be the superior surface superior surface okay and this will be the anterior medial surface and this will be the posterior medial surface posterior medial surface and this part that is the open part will be the superficial surface right side parotid gland so superior surface anterior medial surface posterior medial surface superficial surface superficial surface so as we see there are three borders that is the anterior border and the medial border and the posterior border so anterior border medial border and the posterior border so superior surface superficial surface andromedial surface posteromedial surface superior surface andromedial posteromedial and superficial borders are anterior border medial border and posterior border as you can see the parotid gland this is my right parotid gland i am keeping it like this so if you take the superior surface superior surface has got an apex so right parotid gland is like this superior surface has got an apex it is overlapping the posterior this is the posterior belly of digastric this is the anterior belly of digastric posterior belly of digastric number 1 it is overlapping the posterior belly of the digastric and adjoining part of this carotid triangle adjoining part of this carotid triangle so the apex is having posterior belly of digastric and adjoining part of the carotid triangle the cervical branch of the facial nerve that is cervical is it or not five branches okay temporal zygomatic buccal marginal mandibular and cervical facial these are the five branches of the facial nerve as you can see temporal zygomatic marginal buccal marginal mandibular and cervical facial this cervical branch which is coming through this and uh, the two divisions of the retromandibular vein retro means behind retromandibular vein emerge near this apex emerge near this apex this particular apex has got these structures and if you take the superior surface that is superior surface is at this point if you say the boundaries over here the boundaries will be so that is the posterior part of the temporomandibular joint this is the tragus the posterior part of the temporomandibular joint this is the tragus and superficial temporal vessels which are running like this here superficial temporal vessels which are running like this here and also your auriculo temporal nerve auriculo temporal nerve we try to block the anterior part of the external artery this is the external artery canal this is the auditory canal anterior part by blocking with the auriculo temporal nerve so the superior surface is having these structures as a relation so till now the superior surface was over now it is the superficial surface that is the one which you are able to see the superficially superficially it has got the skin as a covering number 1 is the first covering is the skin skin first covering is the skin second covering will be as you know the superficial fascia as you know the superficial fascia so skin superficial fascia and the deep fascia deep fascia investing layer of the deep fascia so skin superficial fascia and investing layer of the deep fascia so this investing layer of the deep fascia has got parotid gland as we have already seen investing layer of the deep fascia has got parotid gland and intra parotid lymph nodes as we have seen yesterday intra parotid lymph nodes you are coming from deep to superficial so you are just above the deep fascia and below the superficial fascia just above the deep fascia and below the superficial fascia this superficial fascia is having within itself that is the preauricular lymph node that is the superficial fascia below which is the preauricular lymph node so deep parotid are deeply present superficial parotid lymph nodes or preauricular lymph nodes is below the superficial fascia so and also the platysma muscle and also the rhizorius muscle platysma muscle the rhizorius muscle and the preauricular lymph nodes and also the greater auricular nerve greater auricular nerve is going to going to be there below the superficial fascia below the superficial fascia now we have completed the superior part superior part 
and superficial part. Now it is the anteromedial part which are going to cover. This anteromedial part is just in front of the ramus of the mandible. Just in front uh, is the ramus of the mandible and then the masseter muscle, the lateral surface of the ramus of the mandible, the lateral surface of the ramus of the mandible. So the contents are temporomandibular joint as you can see temporomandibular joint anteriorly is the posterior border of the ramus of the mandible medial pterygoid muscle medial pterygoid muscle and branches of the facial nerve and branches of the facial nerve that is the anteromedial border as simple as that and the left out margin border is so this is the anteromedial and this is the posteromedial the posteromedial one which we are talking about it lies deep to it and if you take deep part that is the posteromedial border the posteromedial border has got two processes that is the mastoid process and the styloid process mastoid process and the styloid process the mastoid process has got sternocleidomastoid muscle sternocleidomastoid muscle and that particular digastric posterior belly of digastric muscle sternocleidomastoid and posterior belly of digastric muscle and styloid process has got the styloid so stylohyoid styloglossus stylopharyngeus muscles ghp ghp so glossus to tongue hyoid to down hyoid bone and pharyngeus to the pharynx stylo pharyngeus and it has got also the other relations wherein the external carotid artery the external carotid artery as you know it is going to the gland through this particular med posterior medial surface external carotid artery and also the facial nerve are going to enter into or exit into it through the posterior medial surface only and the internal carotid artery the internal carotid artery is lying medial to the medial to the styloid process internal carotid artery is lying medial to the styloid process and if you take the borders that is anterior border middle border and posterior border so this is the anterior medial surface posterior medial surface superior surface and superficial surface so anterior border is going to separate the anterior medial part and also the superficial part so anterior border is related to what structure this is the facial nerve that is present over here terminal branches of the facial nerve which is very important terminal branches of the facial nerve and also the duct which is coming that is the parotid duct parotid duct and the transverse facial vessels duct which is coming as i already told you facial nerve is going like this and transverse facial vessels are going like this and facial this particular parotid vessels are going so vertically these are very important as far as the anterior border is concerned so this is the anterior medial surface this is the posterior medial surface this is the anterior border this is the posterior border so this posterior border is related to that particular what is it related to it is behind is the mastoid process posterior border is related to the mastoid process and this particular posterior border has got behind it is the sternum this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle sternocleidomastoid muscle this medial border that is medial edge so anterior medial posterior medial and this is the middle border this is middle border so anterior border middle border and posterior border so this medial edge is directly related to the separated from anterior medial and posterior medial surface it is related to the lateral wall so if you going to the lateral wall of the pharynx it is directly related to the lateral wall of the pharynx so just a quick revision of the right parotid gland about its borders and particular uh, surfaces so if you take an open book like this place it on the right side so this is the middle border this is the anterior border and this will be the posterior border this is the superior surface and this is the superficial surface that is seen on the lateral side superficial surface so this is the anterior medial surface and this is the posterior medial surface so posterior medial artery center facial nerve and external carotid artery enter facial nerve enter so anterior medial is directly related to the skin and this particular part superficial surface is also directly related to skin anterior medial is related to your temporomandibular joint the superior surface has got also apex in this way we can simplify the anatomy of the parotid gland as simple as that and we can have an idea about this in the next class we will try to have the different contents of the parotid gland and what are the different ducts that are coming from the parotid gland and also the development and the particular now supply and blood supply of the parotid gland thank you for watching smell bell verbal cephalo cervical surgical anatomy of head and neck videos like like and like as you know you can sail in the sea of surgery with the help of a boat called as anatomy thank you very much